Hi and welcome to our July 2020 Scrap Metal Market Update. The World Steel Organization has published its June 2020 Short Range Outlook. Their outlook has been presented on the assumption that most countries' lockdown measures continue to be eased throughout June and July and that the major steelmaking economies do not suffer from substantial secondary waves of the pandemic. As a result of COVID-19, steel demand will decline significantly in most countries, especially during the second quarter. With the easing of restrictions that started in May, the situation is expected to gradually improve. However, the recovery path will be slow. However, as we have seen in Victoria and with the developing situation in New South Wales, such assumptions should be made cautiously. As economies are reopened without a vaccine or cure in place, there are significant downside risks. Furthermore, recovery of both the global and local economies is dependent on the virus being contained without second and third peaks and the continuity of government stimulus measures. Turning to the non-ferrous market, we have seen encouraging results in the copper market. Since our last update, copper has an average change of 0.45% day on day, resulting in an increase of US$1,300 since our update in May. The increase in copper during this recession is surprising and there is certainly a lot of speculation as to the cause. There have been bullish calls pointing towards the demand of electric vehicles, alternative energy sources and electronics. However, a more grounded analyst suggests that mine closures and the resumption of economic activity in China will mean that total exchange copper stocks will not increase, hence the reason why copper prices have been held up and are starting to slowly increase again. Whilst in contradiction, aluminium is experiencing a slower recovery. There has been an average of 0.2% change in value resulting in a dismal increase of 180 US dollars per ton since May. Moving to the ferrous market, the World Steel Organization forecasts that steel demand will contract by 6.4%, dropping to 1,654 megatons due to the COVID-19 crisis. In 2021, steel demand is expected to recover to 1,717 megaton, an increase of 3.8% over 2020. Whilst June saw an encouraging increase in the text box to 268 US dollars per ton, this is still down $19 per ton in comparison to the high in January of 287 US dollars per ton. Moving on to the Australian dollar, continued uncertainty in America and throughout Europe has made the Australian dollar an attractive opportunity for investors. With the Australian dollar averaging at 70 cents for the first time since January and right now at 71 cents. However, if the Australian dollar continues to surge past 70 cents, exports from Australia could become less attractive to international buyers, resulting in less demand. I want to take this time to remind customers that masks must be worn at our depots in Dandenong, Hallam, Pakenham and Shepparton. I would also like to thank you for your loyalty and custom during these particularly challenging times. And we are all in this together, so please stay safe.